because whatever I was carrying, there's a bracket that's missing and they haven't engineered how they're going to fix it, so there's not going to be any other freight for two weeks and these are being set here so that they can then get re-outfitted, I guess, or whatever, or get the bracket added. So my load is over. That was the end of that. We're not going to South Carolina or Oklahoma. But I immediately went on the Landstar load board because that's how I work and I know there's a lot of freight up here because we're in Minnesota. And that's very true because now I have a load coming out of Minneapolis, which is an hour from here. It's really St. Paul. That's going to Atlanta. Oh, uh, drive the hours. Yep. <clears throat> well, I got 26 hours for a 17 hour ride. Plenty. Um, so then I'm going to need to reset when I get down there. Probably. I don't know that I'm going to find anything that'll load on Saturday. Because it's another convention center, which is super cool. I love convention centers. Uh, but I don't know that I'm going to have another load out yet. But I'll figure that out later. I'm not, I'm, I'm grateful that I have a well-paying load. This is like 260 a mile. This one was 280 something a mile. This one is 260 a mile. Either way, I'm making money. I'm making the money, the money. So I was driving along, right? I was getting ready to go to St. Paul. Um, sort of, I didn't really know where I was going. <laughs> so I'm on Route 10, I found a rest area, I stopped. Um, I had to write an email for billing purposes um, for the last load where I drove like all the way to Missouri and back. <laughs> all the way south of Kansas City and back. I mean, it came out to like 1,050 miles, so 1050, which is a lot. Um, and at 287 a mile, it's a good chunk of change. So I'm expecting that load to be around 3,200 bucks. I really hope that's what it comes out to. Uh, they don't try and shortchange me, or that will be the end of that relationship. Um, so, I am now hauling, I told you, I'm going to pick up a Freeman load. Um, they're a big exposition company. Um, it's going to the Georgia World Conference. Interesting. Must check in at 7 a.m. at the Freeman Yard at this address. Uh, show is NACS Tyson Booth. Wait, like Tyson Chicken Booth? Okay. Detention is fifty dollars per hour after two hours. Maximum three fifty a day. Driver must check in at Seco, care of Freeman Corporation. That's cool. I can do that. Uh, I get one hundred thirty bucks for unloading, which is awesome. Three hundred seventy for my fuel surcharge. Twenty three hundred dollars for the line all. Uh, this is exciting. It's fifteen thousand pounds, so it weighs almost nothing. Uh, it doesn't weigh as little as my last load. The last load was like six thousand pounds or something. I don't even know how much that one was. Uh, three, four, two, and two. Three, four, two, and two. So that's 15. So, 15,000. So maybe similar. <laughs> yeah, I need my bills. I can't scan any of this paperwork in until they've got everything sorted out on Landstar Connect. I just... <sighs> so I am going to Freeman Expositions in St. Paul. Do they have on-site parking? Because I'll just go there now. I ain't picky. Uh, Hazel Street North. Cool, that's exciting. Well, at least now I have an address and I know where I'm going. That's much better than not knowing. Uh, begin new route. I'm empty, which is exciting. Um, and then I guess I'm going to get a reset down in Georgia. I Continue guess. on this road for 13 Maybe. miles. Thanks, Tom. I haven't... Oh, it's only 35 miles from here. Where the hell am I going? I guess that's kind of St. Paul. It's like outside of St. Paul. Or inside of St. Paul. It's not the river. Not downtown. Downtown. It's close. It's near Minnehaha. <sighs> Sorry, I guess I'm just excited because I thought my whole week was ruined yesterday and I was really mad. If you couldn't tell, I was a little upset because I didn't know that I, if I was going to get screwed or what. But uh, now I got another load. So that's exciting. I have a rest area, so I could stay here and be a lazy bum and not do the 35 miles now. But then I'll have to sit in traffic tomorrow. Let me go ahead and I'll look at the satellite and see if they have on-site parking. I always look at Google's satellite imagery um, to see what I can see. Um, I've actually started reporting places on Google as well that have the signs for trucks blurred that say like, here's a truck entrance. I'll point it out and I'll be like, can you unblur this? I have a giant vehicle. I would like to know if, I get, if this is my entrance before I get there and get screwed. So I do that a lot now, um, but I do, I look at, at Google all the time and see, they look like they have a gate. So I can't stay there for the night. Yeah, there's a guard shack and stuff. So I can't get away with that. It's big, it's actually near a 3M distribution center. Stop it! That's my email. Sorry for the delay, uh, that's cool. 
cool, cool, cool. I'm glad I stopped. That way I can get all my paperwork done so that I can go back to work. I was gonna go for a run. Maybe I'll do that while I'm here. It's a park. Good morning, internet. I'm waiting for security to yell at me because uh, apparently security doesn't like it when you park here. But I'm picking up at this little dock door here. I have to wait for him to leave and then I'm gonna back in there. There are doors there. And then we're gonna go to Atlanta. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. He's apparently our first truck. I am their second truck. All is good. I'm gonna look at the map and see if I have to come back out this way or if I have to go down. So like, could I go all the way down there or do I have to come back out this way? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. <sighs> but uh, we're here, so that's good. Um, I don't know that I have much more of an update for you. I drove around the building. Um, traffic is okay. I really don't have much of an update for you guys. Well, hopefully we'll see what happens when uh, I get into the store, if it all goes well. I've never filmed one of these before, so I don't know what this is going to look like, but we are leaving, um, which is exciting. Uh, it's really tight back here, so I have to go really slow in case someone comes flying around this corner, which doesn't look like it. Look. Like that guy. Oh no! Did I leave my microphone? That's the worst when you leave your microphone on overnight because then the battery dies. I didn't even see the light. Oh man. Okay, uh, truck route is this way. That's what the sign said. So we're gonna go this way. 900 feet. Turn right on no! Stillwater Avenue East. No. No, we are following the signs that say truck route because the way you brought me was not a truck route. At least not a, an approved truck route. It may have been a, eh, well you could do it, but we don't like it. You took me down a bad route. I'm gonna follow the signs that say truck route. <laughs> if there are any more of those. Ooh, I think there is. Is that another sign? I think so. <gasps> Yay, truck route is any of these streets. Okay, I wanna get back out to the main drag. Is this the, yeah, okay. I can take this road. Yay. Uh, <laughs> right here. Uh, we're loaded. Uh, I tried filming something. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Um, we're loaded. I'm gonna take this right. Um, now we're gonna go to Atlanta. And I guess I'm kind of in a hurry up and, and get there mode. Um, come on, you can make it. I want that room. Cause I just, I don't wanna cut this corner too tight. <laughs> it's still a little tight. All right, get back out of the main drag. That's what I want. We're in St. Paul, Minnesota. Thanks, Tom. Like, not really in town, but we're in town. It's enough that Tom thinks we're in St. Paul, um, which we probably are. Um, adorable little neighborhood. I really like it. Yes, Thomas. So picky. Um, I really like it in Minnesota. Every time I come up here, I'm happy. Even if it is winter, I still like it. Look, another sign that says truck route. Yay! Oh, what a big difference. <laughs> the route Tom brought me was questionable at best. But now I know, still water for the next time because there will be a next time, I'm sure. Um, I'm carrying a chicken booth for some chicken people, which is awesome. Um, I was gonna carry 13 pallets, but they forgot one. So I got an itty bitty box, which is awesome. Uh, sounds like they ha I have everything. My bills match. I took pictures of all the stuff. Whenever I do a trade show, I take pictures of every single thing that goes on this truck. Um, so that I can say, yeah, this is exactly what they gave me. And if they have any questions like, oh, we didn't load that. I mean, like, yes, you did. Here's the pictures to show exactly what you loaded. Uh, I'm very particular about that stuff. So, because I want to make sure that I don't get screwed. <laughs> And it's usually only with show loads. Um, if it's if it's like a regular place, I'm not as worried about it because normally that stuff matches and they don't blame you. But shows are like a, a whole different monster. I just want to make sure I'm good. I got a coffee. I got a new coffee mug for my corporate coffee mug collection, which I'm really excited about. I didn't even have to ask for it. This lovely gentleman just gave it to me. He handed me a coffee and a mug. I'm like, oh, do I get to keep the mug? He's like, yes, keep it. I was like, what? <laughs> okay. There he is.
Thanks for my giant straw. Good morning, internet. Hello. We are in Effingham at the Petro. Usually I stop at the TA and get a Dunks, but I stopped at the Petro because then I could get like a smaller handmade coffee and make it myself. Um, so usually I say extra, extra, so they dump all the cream in and they dump all the sugar in. Uh, so I made this myself so I have less sugar in it. Um, notice I didn't say less cream. <laughs> I have a cream problem. Uh, anyway, so we're getting ready to roll out. We're going to be in Atlanta tonight. In Atlanta. Like, I'm going downtown with this thing. I have a delivery in Atlanta. So I get to go into Atlanta. And I'm staying there. Because um, I'm going to the marshalling yard. Uh, just because. My nails are all blue because I... My hair. Um, so I'm going to the marshalling yard tonight. I'm just going to stay there. Because that's that way I'm there for 7 o'clock in the morning. Regardless of what time I get there tonight. Um, cause I have to check in at seven o'clock in the morning cause that's when they're going to start moving trucks into the convention center, which is right across the street. This marshalling yard is in a great spot. It's literally across the street. Um, this place looks by the satellite, like it's going to be easy. I think it's the new convention center that they just built. It's like the world's convention center in Atlanta. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I don't, I know that the word world is in it. And I know it's a convention center. Um, but as far as the satellite shows, it shows that there are docks outside that you can back into on a diagonal, which is really nice. Um, so I'm hoping that's where I'm going to end up. But who knows what the, if I'm going to have to go inside like I did in Vegas, or if I'm going to have to go to like a different section of the facility that's underground. I have no idea. But as far as the satellite shows, it's right next door, so I don't have to go far, which is cool. And there are docks outside upstairs. So we'll see what happens. Um, you'll see. You're coming with me tomorrow. Um, I showered, which is great. Um, I really didn't want to, um, cause it changes my hair color <laughs> and I was really attached to my hair color, but I needed to shower cause I was gross. So I did all of that and I was like, I'm not going to wash my hair. I'm not going to wash my hair. And then I ended up doing it anyway. <laughs> uh, so I just had breakfast. I'm getting ready to roll out. Um, I'm going to go and clean my window in the fuel island cause it's nasty. Um, I don't think it's going to last very long because there's something about bugs in September that seem to be, they're just nuts. And that's it. I think, I think that's all I got. Oh, no, that's not all I got. I went ahead and Landstar has a system called LCAP where you can buy things like tires and maybe take out loans if you have like a huge repair on your truck, that kind of stuff. Um, the only thing I've used it for, excuse me. The breakfast is coming back up. Ugh. The only thing I've used it for so far is to buy the two steer tires on the front. And what happens is they submit, like you don't pay for anything up front. It all goes through Landstar. And then apparently like six weeks go by before it lands on your settlement. And then they just take it straight out of your settlement. My tires in the front, those two tires were 950 bucks um, for the pair. So that's coming out in $200 increments. And I think if you do the math right, that's five weeks of $200 increments. That's totally doable, but it just started. <laughs> so I bought those in July, late July, and it's the end of September right this second. So I don't know when you're gonna be watching this. It might even be Christmas by the time this one comes out. Good Lord. <laughs> so that being said, I need to buy drive tires. My entire back drive axle is really low. They're right around 10 or 11, but there's one in particular that is really bad. And I can't just replace the one. I mean, I probably could go somewhere and be like, I need a tire that only has 11, burr, 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 and get it replaced so that they're all kind of even. Um, and that would probably save me some monies, but I would rather run with a brand new Virgin Row all the way across, and then somebody else that needs those tires, the 10s and 11s, will have them available wherever I go and get this done. I'm probably gonna go to a TA around Atlanta, because I don't have anything to do this weekend, and my hours are gonna be bad. In fact, now that we're talking about it, yeah, I'm gonna have like four hours left on my clock. Maybe, maybe five when all is said and done. Um, and sure, I could roll over because like Friday is gonna go into Saturday and I'll get eight hours there. And then Saturday into Sunday, I would get another 10. So I could, I could pick something up on Friday, but because it's a um, convention center load, I don't know what time I'm gonna get into that convention center to actually do the unload. So I could be there all day. I mean, all day. I could sit there for nine hours. So I'm going to get my run in, which is awesome. Um, but I can't like book another load for Friday and feel comfortable saying I'll be there because you know, I don't know if I'll be there. So I think I'm just going to get my tires done on Saturday. Um, it's a good time to get it done. 
that way that should get me a reset somewhere in there because then I won't pick anything up till Monday and then I'll have a fresh 70 and we can keep moving and I think that's my plan because I really liked my check yesterday it was really nice that was the trip I took all the way out to Vegas and then the, the one I picked up in Minnesota going to Salt Lake I think was on there too yeah and then the last tire run I did was also on there because that got in on Monday so this week's check won't be the one coming up won't be as good but it'll still be nice so I'm gonna keep I think I'm gonna keep moving I mean I could I could easily just go home but I don't think I'm gonna all right I feel like I've sat here and talked to you for a long time the thing says almost six minutes so I think that's that's way more than you need um we're gonna go we'll we'll get moving I'm gonna go clean and have my I, I have a croissant and I'm gonna go do that I know my bed's a little bit of a mess <laughs> take 75 all the way in. We'll see what happens. I got nervous. I don't know why I'm so nervous about going into Atlanta. It's just Atlanta and I got nervous. So I stopped at the TA in Cartersville and I bought a fucking parking spot. But I'm just, I'm just nervous. 
I don't know why I'm nervous. I feel like there might be some sort of, is there an event that's making me nervous? Is the, are the Falcons playing? Let's find out. Falcons. Sure. Is it going to show me the Atlanta Falcons? Uh, no, they're playing on Sunday, so I don't know. Is there a baseball game? Are the Braves playing? It's right next to all of the stadiums, I think. Bra maybe. Brave schedule. It's, not, it's the end of September. I mean, they can't be doing much. They're at the Mets. So maybe I could have gone downtown. I mean, I still could. It was 1,800 points. It's not like... <laughs> There's a dude. The guy checking for spots is coming around. I haven't... I literally just parked. So. Um, what's your problem? Why are you looking at me? Uh, all right. I'm a... Uh, I guess I'm gonna go to bed. Um, oh, I'm still driving. Oh no, off duty, please. So I'm looking at it. It's literally just a parking lot, and then they have turned it into like a. Turn my phone screen up. They've turned it into like a mark, what they call a marshalling yard. Like it's literally extra parking for the stadium and the convention center and all that stuff. Because that's all down there. The stadium is down there. The State Farm Arena is down there. Arena, Arena is down there. Ooh, the Roots Chris is down there. Crap. Oh, the Georgia Aquarium is right there. Um, there's a ton of stuff. Oh, a Baja Fresh. Oh, no. Oh, no. There is, like, a little shopping area. Oh, no. That's not good for me. Game X? What happens at Game X? This is what ha Oh, it's a video arcade. Uh, mm -hmm. Baja Fresh. Great American cookies. No, I don't need any of those. Quan's Deli and Korean Kitchen. There's the Ruth's Chris. There's a Starbucks. Um, there's a... No Chick-fil-A's. No, sorry. I'm not going to Chick-fil-A. Um, so there's a bunch of stuff right there, but I don't want to go down there and then have, because there's also a police station for, it's the GWCC Police Department North. They are right there, and I don't want them to be like, hey, what are you doing here? You can't park here overnight. So, despite the fact that there is, like, a pile of trucks in that parking lot, I'm just nervous, and I don't want to, like, get in trouble and go. So, I don't know. I, I've already paid for the parking spot with my points. I might as well just stick it out. Um, it's an hour in, um, but, but I'm going to be there at 7. I could probably get there at 5, so I could go at 4.30. What time is it now? 6.40? So I could start at 4.40 and probably be fine. Um, yeah. I should, this is my struggle. Do I go in now? No, because I've already paid for a parking spot. I mean, I could. I could ditch my parking spot, but that would be really rude for anybody else that comes in the middle of the night and they're like, okay, they're all full, but there's a spot here. I got a good spot, too. Like, I don't have to worry about anybody except maybe my neighbor, who I don't have yet, hitting me. <laughs> That's the only thing I would worry about is my neighbor hitting me. Um, but otherwise, um, it's, it looks good. Um, Downtown is a mess, so I'm not go. I don't really want to go in now because I'd have to sit in traffic for oh, not that long. But there's an accident. Um, I guess we'll just go in tomorrow. I wanted to go for a run down there. It's hot down here. Do they have a? <sighs> These are all questions I ask after the fact. Do they have a anything here? Hey, Miss Carter. More amenities. Uh. Bulk Def, Drag TV, NBA Service. No gym. I like the ones that have gyms in them. I literally, now that I've started running, have not run into another one that has a gym in it. It drives me nuts. <sighs> I don't know, maybe I'll go for a run while I'm up here. I don't know what I want to do. I'm really indecisive tonight, and I can tell. I don't know why. I just, I'm, um... <laughs> Nope, nope, nope.